Well, we are getting a sneak peek of the 2016 Master of Fine Arts thesis exhibition at the University of Arizona Museum of Art. Colin Blakely and Lara Haddad are here to do just that. I want to thank you both so much for being here this morning. Thanks for having us. Thank you. So Colin, let's start with you as a director. Um, tell us about this exhibition. What makes it so special for the students? Sure. So within the visual arts, there's no doctoral degree. Um, and, and so a master's of fine arts or an MFA is what we call a terminal degree. In other words, it's the highest level of academic achievement that somebody can attain in the discipline. Okay. And so much like a PhD student would be expected to complete a dissertation, our MFA students are expected to create a, a, what we call a thesis body of work. Um, and in that, they're, they're expected to demonstrate not only mastery of, of their chosen medium or mediums, but also the ability to take a, a specific concept and do a rigorous and in-depth exploration of that concept on a visual level. Oh, wow. So the, the MFA um, ex thesis exhibition then is an opportunity for our graduating MFA students to present that work in a public forum. Um, and, and as such, it's, it, you can think about it as sort of it's the end of their academic studies and the beginning of their professional life as an artist. And wow. so, uh, the exhibition is designed to give them that experience of what it takes to, to display their work in a, in a um, professional setting. And we're lucky to p be able to partner with the um, University of Arizona Museum of Art and, and also to have the uh, Joseph Gross Gallery within our school to provide that setting for them to, to um, mount the exhibition. This is incredible. So we're talking about a really wonderful opportunity for the students to get out there, but also for the public to get to come see, you said, different, lots of different mediums. I'm wondering, Lara, as one of the, the showcasing artists, how long did it take for you to put together your entire, I don't even know what we'd call it? Body of work. Body of work. Thank you. Colin, I'm glad you're here. Uh, you mean the installation? Yes. Yeah, it will take about three days, two days just to put the work in the right place, and then third day just to make sure that the lighting and all the uh, effects in the museum are working well. But to actually make all of the art that's going to be involved, it, I'm guessing years of work that you've been working on as a student, is that right? Yeah, it's, um, it's building up. Like We've been working on the thesis for almost a year and a half. Incredible. So, yeah. Colin, why is it so important that people buy a ticket for this event and, and don't just, you know, go to the exhibit another time? Sure. So, so this preview event provides an opportunity for people to see the exhibition before it's open to the general public. Um, and we're expecting both um, museum and gallery curators from the area to be there, as well as friends of the School of Art, as well as um, art patrons. But what's most important about it is that all eight of the participating artists are going to be on site during, during this preview event. Three of them will be, will be giving um, informal presentations about their work, and, the, and the, all of them will be available to talk to people there about, about their work, about what went into its production, um, and, and their ideas and, and um, inspirations behind what you see up on the wall. So, so how often do you get to not only uh, go to an exhibition and see great artwork, but also actually talk to not just one, but eight different artists to, to, to get a sense of, of what it was that inspired them to make that work in the first place. A once in a lifetime opportunity, it sounds like. This is going to be incredible. Now, of course, Laura, since we do have you on the show this morning, I'd love to hear a little bit about your background and how it kind of fits into your art. Okay, um, I came to the United States in 2012 for a visit and never went back to Syria, my country. Before coming to the States, I was staging still life photos that depicted the change that was happening in our everyday life under the violent conflict. After coming to the States, I couldn't do the same thing anymore because I wasn't living in a war zone. I became just an observer watching the news from distance. And therefore, I felt like I became an outsider to my own country. At the same time, I was still an outsider to the United States, which is my new country. Therefore, I felt like I'm living in my own space where I don't belong to any of these places. So the work that I'm presenting in the thesis show is a visual translation of what I learned and experienced from living in this space. Also from observing how the transition from one country to another has affected and changed my identity. Wow, the incredible. It, this is just one example 
it's going right. to be an amazing exhibition and something that I hope a lot of people will take advantage of. Colin, Lara, I want to thank you both so much for joining us this morning. I'm going to make sure our viewers have all of the information to come out and see you guys. Well, thanks for okay. having us. Thank, thank you. Our so pleasure. Much. Now, you can get a sneak peek at the Master of Fine Arts Student Thesis Projects this upcoming Sunday from 3 to 5 p.m. at the University of Arizona Museum of Art. For more details, call 621-1251 or log on to art.arizona.edu.